Now move on to slide 56. Our terminology. As I uh, said, five minutes. Okay, five minutes I'm gonna go through all, just all the slides. So you know, the, you heard the, the terminology, the virus and worm, and the difference between the virus worm in general, say virus cannot replicate itself, but worm, worm it can. And it can just run by itself, but virus it just does need some other application help to start. That's in general the difference. And slide 58 is what's between Trojan and uh, backdoor. So Trojan is something software that uh, mimic some uh, mimic something else. For example, you are not the uh, calculator, but you know maybe the malware just act like a calculator, but actually in reality is not. But there's the uh, uh, Trojan and the type of backdoor malware is something that actually opens some like a port, some opens up way a door for the actual control to come into your infected machine. So that malware is uh, called backdoor type. And bot and a uh, rat, what's the difference? Have you heard the bot, botnet, right? Bot usually. So it is, uh, it's a bot itself is called as some kind of zombie type of you know, software. You actually infect all the machines, but basically do nothing until the controller talks, uh, talk to you to do something. That's the bot. And the, and then the red, red is it is usually more uh, uh, targeted attack. It's used as a targeted attack. So in case of a red uh, malware, the controller actually can connect to it and then see your machine in more detail. But on the other bot, bot usually just listen for some command and do some massive you know destruction. That's the difference. And the downloader and the dropper, the difference is downloader case is malware downloader it actually go you know, outside of some uh, URL and they can grab some other uh, malicious code and download it. That's a download uh, downloader. And dropper is what is different from dropper and downloader is downloader is dropper case usually it includes some other executable inside itself's P file. That's the dropper. And just another term, spyware is something that it steals your information and adware just mainly for the advertisement. And ransomware is something, some uh, malware that encrypt your entire disk and ask for the ransom. Any question? Uh, how do you define rootkit? Is that under remote administrator tool or? Rootkit, good question. It can be multiple, but rootkit usually in definition, the malware that has some advanced uh, techniques to hide itself. That's in general uh, definition of rootkit. So rootkit can be dropper or it can be a downloader, but it's just good at hiding itself. We use more advanced techniques. Does that make sense? So, so okay. So, so does a dropper just come down as a single piece of software and then unloads additional things? Yes, okay. that's a dropper. So these terms, they are, are not, they are not say mutually exclusive. Do you mean one piece of software can dropper and can be Trojan. So I'm just explaining term, you know, what is it mean by you know those terms. Right? Ransomware can be rookie and can be a still you know asking for a ransom, but you cannot find it. We don't know where that is, then it can be rookie and ransomware. Right? All right. Less than five minutes probably. So all right, so just wanted to still mention it about the, some terminologies. And the vendor naming convention. Have you seen the uh, you know the this virus called some this, but some other company called a different way, right? So usually the other until it's the next slide, but I'll explain that a little later. But this one is one of the example. Oh, use it here. Okay, one of the example. That definition from okay. Cairo, 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 how to pronounce it? So like a convention that uh, computer, computer uh, antivirus research organization, how they are suggesting as a scheme, it's a suggestion that it's not, not forcing anybody. So it says first, you okay, put the type, right, and then colon, and what platform the malware is running, and family name, because maybe it has a shared in same code base, they can be of the same family, and then variant, then uh, exclamation point, then just some other 
additional you know, more information can come there. It's a kind of a suggestion. And Microsoft and Apple Secure kind of do uh, this way. They follow this scheme. But as you see, it's semantic case is using as a do some uh, prefix, then name and suffix. So prefix is a so it's functionality, right? And then put a family name. Then the suffix in this case is some variation here. That's C, right? Okay, different the A Vira is has again different way to calling it. And Kaspersky also has a, some what different. So at the end, what it comes down, I submitted one say one sample to the virus portal, which has a bunch of you know, antivirus and you have to skin through it. I end up that I and then somebody else actually you know made this page. This uh, what it, having this you know different way of naming is end up you have a very different result. Like the configure can call you know the hero from different company, right? Trojan dropper from another different company, right? So it's Till now, it is not actually standardized, and I don't know whether it will gonna be ever standardized. So that's why later on when we look into the mic, so that's another kind of different attempt to, since this naming scheme itself is, cannot be agreed upon, then how about let's have some different way to you know, communicate in the same language, right? So that's what it is. All right. So I'm done with the part one. Do you have any questions?